Hi guys, I am so happy I am back and this time forever or as long as I can be here but it's been many months since I did my last favorites video and in this video I have a few beauty items, um, music, book and food. So let's get started. One of my favorite beauty items is this lipstick and it's actually the one I have right now. Can you see it? Mm. <laughs> And it's a pinkish color. It's really soft. It's like a nude between nude and a soft pink and it's actually called nude cream I just guessed that <laughs> nude cream. It is by Milani and it is number 26 And I think this is great. This is for like everyday use like right now And it's daytime and sometimes if I don't want like a pop of color. I just go with this next is this blush by Wet n Wild and this is the color um, Berry Shimmer and I really like this. This is very pigmented. When I use the brush I have to be very careful to dab on this because just the slightest color or just the slightest amount of blush it would just make your cheeks look really pink so that's what I like about it. It's really pigmented and they look your cheeks look very like, like a cherry color and so I like that I mainly use this at daytime right now I have like a bronze color but I yes I love it and this is the first time that I try something by Wet n Wild and it's a cruelty free brand and so yes it made it to my favorite product the next product that I have I saved the box I don't have the bar anymore it's a soap bar and this I found at CVS and this helps with your face if you have any acne marks so if you have dark spots like I do this soap is gonna help you I noticed a difference after a few days and I had a really dark one like right here around my temple it was really dark and I was having a hard time covering it up even with concealer and makeup it was not doing anything when I started using this so what I do I exfoliate and I use this soap and it made a huge difference right now I don't have it anymore now I have a different spot but yes I really liked it I liked how it worked with my skin and I have oily skin and it is by Dermisa brightening bar which I had never heard about and, and I'm so happy I randomly found this product and by the way, this is actually the first video that I do after I did my hair keratin treatment, which you can read about in my blog. I'm going to leave the link. And ever since I have been applying this oil, this has three essential ingredients, which is melaleuca, omega-3, and argan oil. And this, um, what I do when I shampoo my hair, I just apply shampoo. I leather the shampoo in the top area of my head and then the bottom I just apply conditioner and after shower I apply this well I let my hair dry and when it's still between dab and dry I apply this just to the ends of my hair because my hair used to be really really dry it was frizzy and ever since I did the treatment my hair has been so soft silky manageable I can wake up with my natural waves and just head out like that. But before, I would wake up with waves, but my hair was so frizzy. You can even see it in my blog videos. If you check out my blog channel, you can see the difference between the before and after. And you'll see it in my blog too. So this, I love it. I got this for my sister as a birthday gift or was it for a Christmas gift? I don't remember, but I love this oil. It smells so divine. I love the scent. It's like when you open it, it's like you're walking into a bakery. And it smells like a cupcake that you want to eat. It smells like it seriously I smell this and I want to eat it like so bad <laughs> but it is so good and leaves the hair shiny smooth and so pretty and nice okay so next is music I have this song that I have been loving I was visiting my sister and she had a song on her laptop and I asked her what song is that because I love it and it is by Kigo Kigo and it is Firestone and I love it it's so relaxing, soothing. I actually made a video for an event that I went to and I edited the videos and the pictures. I'm also going to leave that in the description box so you can check out the video that I did for the event planner. And she was so happy to see the video and this was the song that I used for that. So I've been loving this song so, so much. <laughs>
Okay, so next I have a book to talk about and it's this one. I actually showed this book in one of my last year's haul videos and this I found at a book fair and it is called Reincarnation. It is by Suzanne Wayne and it's a fiction story and I have to be honest, I like it and I don't like it. Um, I like it because of the concept behind it. It's about just like the title says reincarnation so it is a love story it's about a couple that they keep meeting throughout different lifetimes throughout different time periods so from Egypt to Salem Massachusetts um, when it was the time of the witch trials to Pakistan the early 1900s in Paris and to this day the modern day in New York I like the names that she used to name the characters throughout different lifetimes so basically it's about a couple um, I'm not gonna give it away so they keep meeting but something always happens and so for example they had the name May, Kai, Hyacinth, Artem those two names were my favorite Hyacinth and Artem, Del, Bert, Luisa, Mike so the only thing I didn't like is how Every story, it's like a lot of stories in one book, has something bad that happens. But I have to say, I did like the ending. I loved it so much. It was kind of expected, I think. At least to me, it was like, yeah, I knew that was coming. But yes, it's um, an idea. It's something that reincarnation that was never talked about in my home. Each of my parents had different religions, but I like being open-minded. And so I like that. But yeah, I think you would like it if you're into romantic stories or you want to read something different. I think this is going to be the book for you. And yeah, I, I liked it so much. And it made me realize at the same time how short our lives are. Reading this, I would read it non-stop. Like I wanted to keep reading it until I found out what was going to happen at the end. So great book. I recommend it. Okay, so now to food items. Um, I went to a speed friending event a few months ago and I won chocolates and I never talked about this but I again I saved the wrapper and this is coconut and chocolate let me tell you the best mix ever I love coconut everyone that knows me knows that I go coconuts for coconuts <laughs> and it is so delicious I usually don't like chocolate I'm not a fan of too much sweets unless it's cupcakes but I have that every once in a while but this one just a mixture of coconut and chocolate oh my gosh and when it comes to coconut I don't always like the flavor of coconut I like the taste and the flavor the taste is so good they combine the, the flavors really really well and I also like the texture it has oats so it's a little bit crunchy at the same time so it's like between soft and crunchy and it kind of feels like you're eating an ice cream, like you filled ice cream and you have the chocolate covered and then the inside is soft. Mmm, so yummy, so good. Okay, so next I have this by Amy's and it is lasagna and it is vegetable and it has day cheese. So this was the first time I was trying this and it's so yummy. The portion is small, but let me tell you, oh my gosh, it's so good, it's so delicious. Um, I used to love eating lasagna with meat back when I used to eat meat and ever since I really the only way to eat lasagna is if I make it or if my mom makes it which comes out so delicious but I wanted to try this one since I saw it so I thought why not and it is so good it's so flavorful sometimes I try foods and they don't have a lot of flavor but this like each bite that I took it was so yummy with the plant-based cheese oh, so yummy so I recommend it try it and last but not least chicken nuggets but meatless chicken nuggets so this is by clock free so this is cholesterol free no eggs and non GMO it is so yummy I forgot how many it brings but this lasted us a few days for Lynn and me and she liked it, I liked it, and it's so yummy, so delicious. So if you want to try a new brand of chickenless nuggets, try this one. So good, so yummy.
And I'm pretty sure you wouldn't even taste the difference between real chicken and a plant-based chicken nugget. When I eat these chicken nuggets, it really reminds me of how real chicken would taste like. So that's it, you guys, for my favorites of month of April. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I wanted, as you saw, um, variety of items, a little bit of everything. So I hope you like that. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. I am so happy I got to film this video without a lot of noise out there because here there's construction everywhere. So I'm surprised and I'm so glad that I was able to film and talk without any noise out there. And to tell you the truth, I was shaking a little bit when I started filming because it's been a few months since I did my last video. And from the excitement and overwhelm, I was shaking a little bit. But I'm gonna keep making more of these videos because I missed it, I really did. That leaves the hair shiny, smooth, and so, so shiny. And it makes me think that. I don't wanna say that. <laughs> Flavor of coconut, I feel like.